Taco Tuesday! Taco Tuesday! Ha ha ha! Yes, I practice all my travels. Um, tra Happy Taco Tuesday! And I have a very fun dessert tacos for us tonight. Hey, Joy! Happy Taco Tuesday! Happy Taco Tuesday! <laughs> Glad you're here, Joy! Okay. We have some fun tacos to make this evening. And typically, I'm not a dessert person, and Johnny Angel isn't either. So he's not here, so we're making dessert tacos this evening. And it's gonna be good. <laughs> hey, Michael, Hancock, congratulations on your daughter's doctor award and all of the awards that you and your family seems to be making. Okay, here's, here's what's going on. We're making dessert tacos. And, okay, pie crust. America's number one pie crust, according to the label, it's Pillsbury. So I'm going to rip one of these open. I'm going smaller than usual. This is such a good recipe for a fun little get-together with friends or if the in-laws are coming over and you want to impress them. Okay, look. So here's what you do. Going quick and easy tonight. Although my hands are really warm. I hope I don't mess it up. I've all, you need a pastry mat. And I put down a little bit of flour already. Okay. And so we're going to roll this out. And I'm going to, I don't have my biscuit cutters here. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. So typically, I have my biscuit cutters. I don't have them here. But these dessert tacos are going to be so pretty. And when you present them, they're going to be like, mmm, mmm, mmm. It's, it's to die for, hopefully. Of course, typically, as usual, I haven't practiced the recipe. Okay, so I want this to go. I don't have my biscuit cutters. I'm using my Tabasco thing. <laughs> hey, Monique. And I didn't oil it, but I did cool this. So this is our Pampered Chef uh, marble roller, and I've had it in the refrigerator. So I want it to get on out there a little larger because I don't have my biscuit cutters. Yay, Monique. Okay, look. I'm only making a few. Johnny Angel won't eat them anyways. Okay. So, I have the pastry mat down. I have the flour down. Ah, it works good if you put this thing in the refrigerator and it's cold. It gets it, it, gets it moving out. All right. I might get some more out of it. Because I don't, I don't like anything too thick. Ask Johnny Angel. Uh-oh. Gotta roll that. There's a little hole. Okay. So, you have a pastry mat. You put a little flour on it. And my biscuit cutters are in the lake house. And I'm at the river house. Hey, Michelle. I'm glad you're here. So I don't have the biscuit cutters. I have a Tabasco cup. Let's see how good it works. All right. <gasps> Not bad. Not bad. Okay. And so, can you see this over here? <laughs> this is a um, our Pemmerchamp V-shaped banker. I'm just gonna. Oh, these are going to be really tiny, which is good. I hope I don't overfill them, which is my tendency, and then it's so messy, and I hate messy. Anyways, here's here we go. Another one. Okay. 
These are going to be itty bitty, teeny tiny little dessert tacos. So I do have the oven pre-baking at 400 degrees, okay? 400 degrees. These are coming out good. Let me have it to Betsy. America's number one pie crust. I do have to admit, if you joined me live yesterday afternoon, I was uh, attempting to make quiche Lorraine because it was quiche Lorraine day. Hey, Pam. Pre-banking. Can you tell me more, Miss Pam? <laughs> um, so, I got as far as making the crust and, and it's still in the refrigerator. <laughs> hey, Judy, Tony. Hey, Pam. Nathan. I'm attempting to make dessert tacos this little if you can see it it's our V uh, baker you can make I made mm, y'all I made some delicioso hey Charles I made delicioso sweet potato chips and they were good you just shave shave the Sweet potatoes, and I did them, put them in a, a pot with um, a bowl with olive oil and salt, mix it all together, and I did do, 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 do. So delicious. So delicious. Okay. All right. Can I, 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 mm, mm, I think we we'll leave it at that. Johnny Angel's not here anyway. Okay, so I preheated the oven to 400 degrees and I'm going to put it in the oven. Here, y'all have to help me for 12 minutes. It's 717. Can somebody help me? Time. 717. I need 12 minutes. And I'm famous for burning myself when I put stuff in the oven. We have these new things at Pampered Chef. But these are, oh, this is meant to go on your uh, oven racks. Can you see how it splits open? But this is bigger than my little RV camper, so I haven't snipped it off. So, how about I burn myself? Here we go. Y'all help me. 12 minutes. 12 minutes, okay? 7.17. Oh, I have a Sabatsy. Here it goes into the oven. Ah! Mm. I always burn myself. Okay, so the next thing is, you guys, I'm going to move this over. For a big crown, you'll do both of the um, pie crusts. But, I'm going to open this with the feeling. It is strawberries and cream day. <laughs> thank you, Monique. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, Cowboys in the crate. Cherry pie filling. It's my favorite. What is y'all's favorite pie? I mean, I love pumpkin pie and the cherry pie. This one has the little pull on it. But a lot of folks ask, how in the hell do you use the Pampered Chef opener, can opener, like this? It goes on the top, and you turn it, and you turn it, and the thing that's good about this, if you're left-handed, if you're left-handed, you can go either way. This one has a crimp in it, so I'm hoping it's still going to open. I yeah, it is still working, except it's not progressing. Okay. 
Oh, it's because of the crimp. Let me tell you, this thing um, is so good. If you don't look, see, there's seen that crimp. You see that crimp? It's messing me up. When you use this with the cans, it is no sharp edges. So, let me see if I can get it open with the thing, even with the crimp. The crimp might screw me up. I love it too. I didn't notice. Oh, my hand is still injured. Son of a beachy. This is going to have to work. Here we are. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Here we are, live. Had, hadn't practiced the recipe. Hung up on the crimp. I knew I should have done this. Monique, are you, you still got me? You still got me with the timer? All right. Oh, I didn't notice. Oh, finally. All right, here we go. Finally, finally. I know. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, cherries. Thank you, Pam. Yes, I must be careful. Okay, the next thing is, all right, nine minutes to go. Thank you, Monique. It's the whipped cream, which is so easy peasy if you have the right tools. And this month is Cancer Awareness Month. And if you purchase one of these, one dollar goes to American Cancer Society. All right, here we go. To make whipped cream is so easy peasy. And I'm not going to use all of it. I'm going to be using some whipped cream on a bunch of stuff. Hey, Grammy. Love you. Okay, here's what goes with the whipped cream. One cup of, well, for me, I'm using heavy cream. <laughs> and I think it's what it calls for, but I'm not sure. Oh, Lord. I think there's a marker on here for the one cup. She, she. We're just going to, you know, real cooks like the Pioneer Woman and Rachel Ray, all of those guys, they're like, oh, yeah. Does that look like a cup? <laughs> Does that look like a cup? looks like a little bit more than a cup oh well she she oh well we'll be okay we'll be okay and then two tablespoons of powdered sugar which also equates to three quarters of a cup of a shot glass did I say that out loud no I measured it I measured it there we go. Oh, my heavens to Betsy, and I forgot to pull out the vanilla. Hold up, hold up. Here it is, here it is. One, oh, teaspoon, one teaspoon, one teaspoon. Mmm, vanilla. Mmm, yes. Okay, okay. And then, with the whipped cream maker, here's what we do. Can you see it? And then, I'm going to be using this cream in my coffee, on my waffles. It's very exciting to be able to make your own whipped cream. This is the easiest dessert. <laughs> I can already tell 
that it's getting to be clean because it's part of the pump. Oh my goodness gracious. It's Lunink, are you with me? How much time? Oh my goodness. You can make also butter in this. And you guys. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I did went to I did go to Zoom but today. So I'm a little worn out. I just went back to the gym finally. Thank thank you, Jesus. I feel like my grandma. Five more minutes. Okay. Let's see. Whoo! Good gravy in the morning. Huh. I mean I gotta take a look. I gotta take a look. I know. Ain't that ridiculous? I'm worn out by making the whipped cream. But it is so much better than the whipped cream that you'll buy in those containers. It's all that chemical stuff. You don't want that. So you get a good workout. Where's my Fitbit? I could be getting points for this. All right, let's see. Shamoli, y'all. This is amazing. So on the bottom is the non-skid. And then um, once you take the lid off. Oh, my God. Can you see it? Once you take the lid off. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, it's so exciting. Hey, Claire. Oh my god, it's so thick. Oh my heavens to Betsy. Look at that cream. Oh. Mm hmm I did. Oh my god. These are going to be so good. Going to be so good. Okay. So, wow, sir. Look, I can eat off this. This is going in my coffee tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Wanda, I'm glad you're here. Look at this homemade whipped cream. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, heaven so bensy, y'all. It's so delicioso. Monique, am I doing good? So then... Look at that. Can you see it? It is so cool. Hey, Donna. Oh, my heavens, y'all. Mm. Mm. Yes, it is a dessert. Sometimes you do have to give yourself a splurge. This this is like those, um, you know, when you're making the cookies and it's the batter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I did. I did. Woo! Oh, my heavens. Y'all need this whipped cream maker. This is such a simple, easy recipe. All right. Let me check. So, all, everybody's oven is different. Hey, Liz. Check them. Check them, she says. Monique, I love you. Pulling them out. Oh, and they slippy slidey. Everybody's oven is different. Like everybody's microwave is different. This one's hotter. Um, we didn't even have a regular oven in the gypsy box. We had to use the convection oven, which was very difficult to get used to. I, re I like, re I like, I'm so much more familiar with their regular oven. Okay, Monique, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, here's what it is. Look, oh! 
Uh oh. I, I, I touched that one too hard. I broke it. Hmm. So, let me see. How is the best way to handle them to feel this cherry feeling? No, let me see. <laughs> I forgot where I got these from. Let me see where these came from. Monique, I love you. All right, let me see. I think I got these from the Walmart or something. hot. So these are little baby ones. Ah, still on my microphone. Little teeny ones. The recipe calls for bigger ones. I didn't have my big biscuit cutter. But look, these are really, really going to be cute dessert tacos. It's a little hot. I really, really want you to see it. Okay, so here we are. I'm using Lucky Leaf Premium Cherry Fruit Pie Filling. I, my two favorite pies are pumpkin and cherry. So I had to go for this. You can do whatever you want. This one says no high fructose corn syrup. Thank goodness. So it's healthy. Healthy, right? <laughs> okay, look. Look at this. Our little dessert baby taco. Look, I can already tell I'm going to make a mess because I always overfill my stuff. <laughs> and then a little bit of homemade whipped cream. Look, y'all, this is so easy to make at a party for the in-laws, um, for the cousins. Of course, if you want a project to hang out with the, the kiddos at home, this is perfect. Okay, let me lay this down. I usually, I hate eating on, I hate eating on TV. So I'm usually very messy. So here we did it. <laughs> oh, I love you, Pam. Thank you. So all we did was roll out this pie crust on a baker's mat with some flour. Thank you, Monique, for helping me. And um, cut it out. I had to use my Tabasco cup because I didn't have my biscuit cutters at the river house. Can cherry filling, homemade whipped cream, and here we go. I think it's going to be good. Mm. Yes, please. May I have some more? <laughs> so they say. Mmm. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. You know what, you guys? You gypsy soul? You home shop? This is so light. This is, mm, excuse me, this is not a heavy dessert. And if you're on a diet, you can have just one. It was so light, so crispy, not heavy, not thick, not over the top. And you can, like, you get your little dessert fix and you can move on. 
Y'all, yeah, this is really good. Okay, I think I'm going to have another one. Let me show you. V-shaped baking rack. Oh, let me get a bigger one. <laughs> Look, little pine crust right there. A little. You can do whatever. I I like cherries. Hello, Molly Ann. I like cherries. Okay, try not to overfill it. <laughs> and then a little bit of homemade whipping cream, which it has no chemicals. There you go. Look, look, the kiddos would love making this as a kid kitchen thing. And it's light and airy not too much so you could have one or you might want to have two <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. and there you go guys happy taco tuesday Happy Taco Tuesday! Happy Taco Tuesday! At the River House. Mm. So glad that you are here with me to learn how to make dessert Taco Tuesdays. Ta um, dessert tacos. I use premium cherry fruit filling and topping. Today is also strawberries and cream day. So I want to keep it simple, but you can do fresh strawberries. Mmm. Hold them out. And and the whipped cream maker with the mmm, it would have been actually I don't know if it had been better, it'd been healthier because it was fresh strawberries. It's all is well. So, thank you for joining me for Talk Taco Tuesday. Yay! If you want the recipe, you can just comment below. I'll be sure to send it to ya. And, um, is there any other food? Oh yes, there's also frozen, this is frozen yogurt week. And I have a really good recipe for that. It's coming up too for live. So, I hope that you will follow me and I appreciate your love and generosity. And I will see you next time for our live fun cooking show. Peace, love, and happy trails, baby. Thanks for joining me live, and happy Taco Tuesday. Love ya. Love you a long time.